Hello, beautiful people. This is Dr. Elisa Medus with Atlantis Scalar and Channeling Eric. We're going to continue to read My Life After Death, Part 3, The Afterlife. <coughs> Sorry, I still got a cold. Uh, my First Look at Heaven, Chapter 11. <clears throat> Up until after my therapy, except for the short walk I had with Aunt Denise and my grandmother, Bess de Moore, I was limited to a pretty restricted amount of space. Not because anyone was keeping me there against my will or anything, <clears throat> but because I just hadn't yet ventured out into heaven's surroundings. This is gonna be exciting. After I'd taken in everything from the first uh, therapy session with Kali, I truly realized that I was a spirit now, and this was something permanent. Once that kind of sunk in and I'd gotten a handle on my new spiritual body, I decided to start exploring. I remember when I first started to look around, I thought it was weird that I didn't meet any angels. I was looking for them, but nope, not a single feathered winged creature to be found anywhere. I remember when I first started to look around, I thought it was weird that I, oh no, we got that, sorry. This cold is affecting my brain too. <laughs> the next thing I noticed was that I was in a clearing of sorts, surrounded by a dense forest. It kind of looked like what I'd expect to see on Earth, like the meadow in that scene from the movie Bambi where his mother gets shot. My mom cries every time she watches that part, and that's true, I do. At the same time, I noticed uh, big differences. Unlike on Earth, everything seemed like it was painted with vibrant colors, even the clouds in the sky, even the air, everything. And there were colors that I'd never seen or could have even imagined before. They made the colors look uh, on Earth seem incredibly drab in comparison. Think about the colors on Earth and multiply their intensity by 10, 100, a million. And not only were, there, were heaven's colors in high definitions, but they were also three-dimensional. Colors here move and live and breathe as if they had, have a life of their own. Looking back, that is the first memory of heaven's environment that I had. The smells were also different than the ones I experienced as a human. They were like fresh rain. There are no perfumed fragrances or dirty earthly smells like pollution or exhaust. It just smells like crisp spring water. Still does. I thought it was strange that when I was looking at my surroundings, I only saw what I focused on from moment to moment. My perspective was different. It was as if my eyes were telescopic. When I focused on something really small or close to me, everything else went blurry. I also had these instant connections with whatever item I was looking at. I wasn't just observing it. I felt like I, it, I was one with it, sharing the same energy and source. And then I could pull back and see everything that was far away again. After taking it all in, I looked around and saw what seemed like a nature reserve. There were huge trees that were alive, of course, but not just in the, I've got my roots in the ground and I'm growing away. The bark was alive. There were sounds coming from them. If I saw that on earth, I'd be like, somebody fucking drugged me in my ass. <clears throat> and there were paths everywhere. And they weren't made of cobblestone. They weren't paved in gold. They were just well-worn dirt paths. That really does, doesn't make any sense now that I think about it because my feet didn't touch the ground. It's not like I was treading on it and destroying the grass and tiny insects like Godzilla. Later, I wondered why there were paths. And I found out that it's because humans are used to seeing them was helping with my transition to envision stuff that I recognized from Earth. Anyway, we'll stop there. Thank you for listening, people. And until next time, bye.